Okay, so here I got the yeah, Echo SRM 2620 or whatever. It's the 25cc one, the fucking X series or whatever those clowns call it. The real shit. Because I'm tired of fucking around with my other old ass Echo trimmer. And I need a trimmer that works, that's reliable. So, went down to the Home Depot and some fucking, you know, they had it locked up so people don't steal it or whatever. Because it's like 300, this is a $350 trimmer. And I ask, I fucking ask for someone to get it, unlock it, employee. And then, you know, he kind of had an attitude. Kind of a jackass. And, um, look at that. I, I bought this thing of oil there when I was at the Home Depot, and he didn't even tell me it already came with one, so, fucking. So. Yeah, I don't really want to damage this, but I want to save the box. I guess, yeah, here, you can hold that. Thanks. I'll come on, you come out. Here's the owner's manual. And this is, I think this is like an emissions thing. Some bullshit that you don't really need. Yeah, it's good to have it. Emission control warranty statement, whatever all that means. And this says, this is what actually matters, your operator's manual. And this tells you everything you need. Pop, pop rocks and your air filter, fuel filter, little, Emissions or like the, the spark arrestor, all that crap. But this, I bought the armor, this red armor, because I think this stuff is probably, I don't know if this is not as good or not. So I bought the red stuff. So I haven't even put gas in it. I bought this, but the head probably comes preloaded. I already mixed up some of the red shit in here. This is like the. Emissions bullshit thing. Where's that top piece? Use the top piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the clowns at California. And this is this is what everything says. It has specifications here. That's a different language, I guess. This doesn't make sense. Two year commercial warranty, five year consumer warranty. Aren't fucking commercial dudes like the Mexicans who buy these, aren't they the fucking consumers as well? This just doesn't make sense. It's stupid. Fuck them. So, go put some gas in there. It ain't got no gas. Okay, first start. We got at the Tommy Homestead, everything going on here. So. Gotta be, it's gotta be pushed in there. Fucking dumbasses. Industrial society and its future. Where's the hammer? It's supposed to like float around in there. Go to the corner where the fuel's at. We do not care. If I didn't know that, you'd be fucked. Got the big furry rats. Should not. Yeah. The birds and crap. Piece of crap gas tank. It's gonna make me spill it everywhere. Or not, because I'm careful. I actually know how to fucking use this thing. I guess. Fiber optic. This stupid thing doesn't even work the way it's supposed to. Like, you're supposed to push it forward and then press down. Well, maybe it's working now, but whatever. These are stupid. You just buy the, the non-regulation ones, like the little 
fluid containers that are colored white and you just use those because these are fucking horrible but it's what they had it's, it's all i got that's what i did with the go pads and all that shit that's tight i don't know what carburetor this is it's like i don't think it's not a butterfly this is like a rotary probably something like that brand new fuel I can take a video when you start it though. Yeah, sure. Got the choke here. It's choke action. That's I guess the choke is on. And that's the choke. Wait, no. No, that's the choke's off. And that's the choke is on. So I guess I haven't even read the instructions because I'm above the law. Get the hammer. Let's get first start. Get the hammer. It's on. Choke. I won't even touch the throttle. Don't subscribe. Do not. It's all cringe, furry shit. I think a mountain wave sucks. It's all cringe, furry shit. Also, hate comment, like, stream. Go kill yourself, motherfucker. I don't give a shit. Look at all these fucking weeds. See, this is my fucking piece of shit echo. Motherfucker, tripping on a fucking log. Piece of shit. And this fucking piece of shit. This is sucks. Probably needs new crank seals or something. It's garbage. That's why I bought this one. Fucking stupid log. I'm gonna let it warm up. This is first start. Probably make another video of this thing sucks ass. But, pretty excited. See how it does. I just got done clearing all this a lot of this shit maybe there's i could do some more but um it did pretty good to complain to complain and complain and complain this was kind of you know when you buy this brand new you might want to tighten these torques probably like t th t30s or 25s or whatever down a little bit more so it doesn't like rock side and stuff and also this got kind of fucking, you know, this kind of just happens a couple of the times. Uh, it's because like the cross section of this line is like a square shape and it rotates like that and it just gets jammed underneath itself inside the stupid fucking trimmer. And then it gets, uh, just gets kind of jammed up in there. I think that'll happen only like once or twice. I think my other fucking echo, my older one, would do it much more but it had a ton of fucking power and it was the power head's fucking awesome couldn't recommend the power head more it's great it really gets shit fucking done it's just you know the fucking trimmer heads probably experiment with like some different line i mean this this is like the the gucci echo brand shit or whatever but i mean if you get like one with a round cross section like this, so it doesn't get jammed underneath itself, probably be, probably work better. Well, yeah, this is the Comet Lightstream Gaming Edition. I think maybe one last thing, I did swap to like the the round, the more round line. I think that probably helps a little bit, but 
maybe you, you sacrifice some of the cutting power because like if you have a bigger line you could probably cut through the bigger blackberries and shit but this is fucking annoying i tried um pulling this the spark plug boot off from this little thing they have here just like that i tried yanking that off and then this got fucking stuck on the end of the spark plug right there and I fucking pulled it out and without like uh, some bean oil or something or some WD-40 or whatever I can't fucking get this back in so just by doing that I've basically rendered this whole fucking thing useless for now which is mildly annoying um, for a $350 trimmer but um, other than that yeah uh, so far I would recommend it, but I'm, you're probably going to want to use it for, you're probably going to want to hear for some, from someone who's used one of these for a year, like commercially, if you should probably buy it or not. But it's good. It eats, it, it definitely eats through the gas, but I mean, that's, that's the trade-off you get for Mopawa, baby. But yeah, so far it's pretty cool. If I really wanted to, I could probably take the, I could take this cover off, put like an MSD spark plug wire on there. That would that'd look cool, I think. Давай, давай, микрофон парить.